honest you guys i woke up with a lot of anxiety so i'm just kind of trying to take it easy today i mean i definitely struggle with like morning depression and anxiety in the mornings but today it just felt extra hard probably because i was out drinking on the weekend so maybe that had to do with it but i honestly don't know Also this turkey breast from Trader Joe's. For my lunches, I've been making a lot of turkey sandwiches with it and it's so freaking good. So I went to this house party and I made a whole like TikTok get ready with me for it. And I met so many cool ass people. I was like, what? That was so much fun. I mean, I did black out and I really wish I didn't because I want to like meet and talk to more people and vibe, but girly was, ugh. It is so hot. I literally have butt sweat, but it's okay. I really, really, really don't want to go to Target right now. Ow. I just hate going to Target because I always spend so much money and it's like, let's not oh my gosh oh my gosh also i was like randomly just checking like my sober app on my walk today and i am one year nicotine free which is actually just so crazy to me all right i'm gonna go to target and hopefully i keep my promise and just buy things off my list I just finished filming a YouTube video for this week's video for my channel and I'm just exhausted. It was a big collective haul that I filmed and now my room is like a big mess. I just have a lot of shit and more stuff. <sighs> I am, I'm exhausted. I also need to film myself like trying on everything that I just talked about. So that's gonna take me a minute. It's 4.47 now, so I'm just, how did that happen? How did that happen? I don't even know. <laughs> I did get a lot of these like really cute jewelry though, so I'm just trying them on right now and they are slaying. And yes, I'm already in my PJs, you already know, and my sweatpants. <laughs> I was actually supposed to work tonight, but my therapist texted me, which she's never done before, and she's like, I'm really sorry, but I need to reschedule, and are you open tonight at 5 p.m.? So my coworker was kind enough to switch with me, so I'm gonna close tomorrow instead of tonight. It's definitely been like almost four weeks since I've last talked to my therapist, but it's actually crazy because I like to think of myself as someone very simple, and like my life is pretty boring. You know, I like to keep my circle very small. Oh my God, when I tell you, so much random shit has been going on with me in my life for the last few weeks. It's actually kind of crazy. I genuinely feel like I've been hexed or something because there's just a lot of weird things happening and I'm like, what is going on? I don't know, I don't know. It's just like, it's it's just, it's weird. I don't know. Um, There is not much to do today because it is raining. It is raining so hard. I was gonna go see a movie tonight called Past Lives, but I'm honestly just already so comfortable. Hello you guys. 
Oh my gosh, I haven't vlogged in so long. I'm gonna be honest, I'm feeling very happy and I've been doing really well and I'm learning a lot about myself. Before we even talk about that, I started taking these probiotics. They're by this brand called Organif. I'm not really sure what to say about it just because I don't really know how to like measure how well these like supplements do for my body. I will say I'm probably not gonna be repurchasing this just because it was like $60 and I don't know why I thought I could afford that right now. But I've been really trying to get my like gut health back to normal these past few months. I think I kind of fucked up my hormones a little bit because I wasn't taking my sugar pills, which is like the last four pills on your like birth control. And I haven't gotten my period in months. But more recently, I've just been doing a lot of research on like the menstrual cycle and the gut health and all of that and listening to a lot of incredible and insightful podcasts. So I'm trying my best to like get my period back. But anyways, because I've been doing a lot of research on like gut health and all that kind of stuff, I've been taking probiotics if any of you guys have any recommendations for like probiotics or prebiotics or any of that kind of stuff please let me know just because my gut health is so fucked up right now and it's like driving me insane so it's a little bit hard because my cycle has been non-existent but I have started to track my moods and I'm starting to see a pattern and in my last vlog I was really vulnerable and because I was so burnt out I was in a very like low mood feeling very depressed and like isolated and now it all makes sense because I see a pattern and I I feel like this happens to women like every single month where we're feeling really happy and then we get really hormonal and sad and then we're just like oh my god like we're depressed again but really it's just our hormones well it's 7 p.m right now i worked this morning i did have plans tonight but i really just wanted to like stay in and just take care of myself so after work i went for like an hour-long walk and listened to like a podcast and then i kind of chilled at home and then i just took a shower washed my hair like really really well and now i have a face mask on which i should probably take off now. Guess who just finished getting ready for Pride and my plans got canceled. I'm a little bummed out, but what can you do? I just spent like an hour and a half getting ready. I took a shower where I did like 50 things. I diced in my hair. I did a glam. I moisturized the hell out of my body. I just really wanted to like go out to like queer bars and just dance around with friends and whatever. I don't even want to take my makeup off because I feel like I did such a good job. <laughs> yeah, well, anyways. Oh my god. Okay, so my friend just texted me. They're canceling going out, but they're doing like a night in thing. So I'm back to being happy now. I changed, so I want to show you my new outfit. This is a little more like in the house appropriate. I'm very excited. And then I'm just gonna wear some dogs. Good morning, guys. It's almost 11 a.m. I woke up around like 9.40. I'm starving though. So you already know, I'm gonna grab two eggs, nothing special. No one judge me, I have like no groceries, but lately I've been adding a lot of cheese into my eggs and that's been like my go-to breakfast. I'm like obsessed with cheese right now. We're gonna start with the avocado spray. So nice, so easy. The best seasoning salt at Trader Joe's. I have a question, is anyone watching The Idol on HBO? Because I have. I love Lily Rose Depp and a lot of the actors on that show. It's so dark and there are a lot of scenes where I'm just like, wow. And like a lot of scenes make me very uncomfortable, but I feel like that's what the director wants. Yeah, I don't know. I'm in the middle of episode three, but Shit is intense. It's giving me like spring breaker vibes where Like when I watch that movie <laughs> It's giving spring breakers Anyways, oh, but the reason why I brought up that um, the idol show is because that song is like stuck in my head I'm just a freak Let's eat in my living room. Not to do like a whole house tour, but this is my living room. We have like my brother's bike over there. 
And that's like our old table. I'm gonna be honest, no one eats in here. We use this room for like special occasions, but that's about it. We used to use this room a lot, especially when my mom used to live here, but um, but I feel like if you guys watch my YouTube videos and my TikToks, then you kind of like get the sense that I'm like always in my room and that's about right. It's like we are talking about family stuff online, even though I do like a little bit. I do a little bit. I'm always really vague and that feels okay because I don't want to like cross anyone's boundaries of like talking about family stuff, but you know, my emotions are also valid. <laughs> Yesterday was Pride and I didn't take any clips because I was just with like a new group of people and I was like feeling very shy and we were honestly like all high. <laughs> so it was just like that kind of vibe. It was like, it was really nice, but I busted my friend's place and then we all walked down to Gasworks and it was so pretty. I mean, if you're ever in Seattle, Gasworks and Discovery Park, those are my top two main recommendations. I mean, if you want to go to Pike Place, that's fine. I'm just kidding. Pike Place is pretty awesome when you like go there like the first time. I think it's just cause like I grew up in Seattle. I like always forget that that's a thing. And they taught us how to play poker. Or Jack Black? <laughs> what? We played card games and I think it was Joker. Wait, not Joker. <laughs> I also did say in a TikTok video that I quit smoking weed and I don't know why I said quit. I don't like smoke enough to like quit, if that makes sense. I don't crave weed like I did with like nicotine and like cigarettes and vapes and stuff. But what I meant to say in that TikTok video was that I quit smoking weed to go to sleep and I just didn't say that part but it's so interesting now because i used to be so heavily addicted to cigarettes and now like the thought of it gives me the no no i hit my one year like almost two weeks ago and i really want to make a youtube video about quitting nicotine and like my tips and tricks and like kind of what i experienced <laughs> but i don't know if you guys would be interested in that so <laughs> we'll see we'll see anyways oh my gosh wait what time is it Okay, I should probably get ready. I probably look dramatically different because I kind of did my eyes very intensely and I didn't mean to do such a thick eyeliner, but it kind of slays, it kind of does. And my lashes are looking extra long today. Okay, okay. I'm back to using a CC cream and I love it so much. You really don't need a lot. It's a pretty, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> I already have some primer on too. I just didn't feel myself doing that. And a little goes a long way. I don't think I mentioned what I was doing today. Yeah, which is totally my bad. Um, I'm about to go see Spider-Verse today with some friends. I am so excited though because I got an AMC pass and this is actually my third movie of the week. So I went and saw The Blackening on Friday and then I saw Astro City the next day and today is Spider-Verse. I'm gonna add blush, but sometimes I kind of do this wrong and it like messes up my entire makeup. So we'll see. We'll see how this looks. I need full focus. <laughs> Kind of put a little bit too much on this side, but we can blend, we can blend away. Round two. I think I'm gonna keep my hair in a ponytail. I think that's fine. The movie starts in like an hour, so I still have a bit of time. I'm gonna bust there because I don't wanna pay for parking. It's very hot in Seattle right now, which makes me so happy. So I think I'm gonna be a basic bitch and wear some biker shorts i think we're gonna do gray because my black ones are in the wash this is a look it's 11 53 i'm all ready to go i'm gonna go to the store get some snacks and then head my way to downtown 